Welcome back everybody to the Bulldog 3D. After we've unboxed the Bamboo Lab P1S, let's go through some upgrades that we can do straight away uh, for our first prints. One of the first things that we can look to print is a riser for the top lid. Next, the front of the case has a small slot that allows the cable to run through for a USB-C type connection that connects into the display. Uh, we can cover this, this will help prevent excess dust. There are two holes for the motor assemblies here and here. We can print some dust covers to help prevent dust from getting in there. there and one on this side another thing that I printed out is a printhead holder for the printhead fascia holder if I need to work on the printhead so this drops under there Take this off and just rest it up here. That way it doesn't dangle around underneath the printhead if the printhead's warm. Well, we have the cover for the printhead off. We also have a dust cover for the hole at the top of the printhead. So we just take out the PTFE tube, feed the PTFE tube to the middle of the hole. PTF tube back where it's supposed to go. Pop that on there and close it up. And again, close again some dust to prevent some dust from getting into the printhead. Two little dust covers for the rods. They drop in there like that. Move around to the back of the printer. We have two more dust covers over here and over here. Cool. Drop on there. And pop that on there. One more thing to print out for the Bamboo Lab P1S is excess filament tube. So the filament will come out of the back here. This is angled to move down and come around to the front. That just slides in, wraps around the side of the P1S. So there's multiple upgrades. There's multiple upgrades that you can do after you've printed your bench. Help enhance your bamboo lab P1S. Thanks all for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Leave some comments below. See you all next time.